what's up it's Addison Brianna here welcome to my YouTube channel first of all thank you all so much for the love on my last little flexibility stretch post I know I haven't posted flexibility videos in a while on this YouTube channel so thank you so much for the love and the good feedback on that just kind of bouncing off that I figure since we're all at home right now this is the perfect time to be working on your flexibility so and the next 10 minutes, I'm going to give y'all the ultimate hip stretch. So super fast, effective. This is something that you can do every day to relieve the tension in your hips. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to come to our hands and our knees. Let's start my timer here. And you can be on your hands or on your elbows here as long as you're keeping your abs engaged. So you want to make sure that your upper body is not moving. We're going to get nice and warm fast. Pull your right knee into your chest. And then draw a large circle out and around. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then that same leg is going to push back in the opposite direction for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Cool, set it down, time for the other side. Pull that left knee into your chest, and now come around. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, keep your abs engaged, six, five, four, three, two, and then one, go ahead and switch direction, push that leg back, 10, keeping your upper body stable, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Cool, you're gonna bring your knees wide on your mat, your toes to touch, you're gonna push back with your hands. Push, 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 hold 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up, bring your knees a little bit wider, and push them back. Hold ten. You're pushing through your hands, keeping your abs tight, not arching around. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up, wider your knees, and go ahead and push back again. Hold ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From here, keep your legs how they are. Keep your right hand down. Leave your left shoulder down to the floor. You can hold here or extend your right arm. You can hold for a few big breaths. So breathe in and out. Relax. Breathe in. And out. Relax. One more. Breathe in. And out. Relax. Put it back to center. Push up. Switch sides. Your right shoulder is looking down. You have three big breaths. Breathe in. Four, three, two, 
and one. I know it probably feels impossible to get out of this. So you, if you can, you can pull your knees together or you can simply just fall forward onto your belly, whatever is most comfortable for you. Cool. All right. Coming into a yogi squat, your elbows are on the insides of your knees, pressing your knees out wide. You're going to relax forward, breathe in, and exhale, push them out wide. Five like that, inhale, and push. That's five. Inhale, and push. That's four. Inhale, and push. That's three. Inhale, and push. That's two. Inhale, and last one, hold. Pull your shoulder blades together, push, push, push. Five, four, three, two, and one. Cool. You're gonna straighten your legs for just a moment. Push into your hamstrings, straighten them as much as you can. Rock your hips a little bit left to right or halfway through or over halfway through the stretch segment. Hope your hips are feeling better. So toe down your feet even wider. You're gonna drop your booty down low to a really low to wide squat and right back up and do that 10 times. 10 down and up. Nine. Up. Eight. Up. Seven. Six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, and last one, up. From here, drop on over to one side. Let the opposite toe turn up. If you can't come as low as I can, totally cool. Feel free to bring your hands down. Uh, and support yourself up. But we're gonna hold on this side for one big breath. And then stay as low as you can through center, switch to the other side, one big breath. One more time, each side, switch sides. One big breath. And then switch sides. One good breath. You're going to return to center. Both legs are straight. Push back into your hamstrings real quick. And then go ahead and come down to your hands and knees. And we're going to work on our outer hips. So we're taking a pigeon pose. We're going to start with the right leg forward. And you want to take an active pigeon first. So make sure that your hips are directly square towards the front of the room or towards the short end of your mat, you're going to reach your arms up, engage your abs, and I'll hold it here for five, four, three, you're lifting up, two, and then one, relax down, and you can stretch forward into your pigeon pose. We're going to be here for the count of ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up and hold, engaging your abs, squeezing the glute of the back leg. Then go ahead and sit into the front hip so that you can come around. Switch sides. So now your left leg is forward, you're pulling up into the active pigeon pose. Reach your arms up, you're squeezing your inner thighs. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Sink down as low as you can, down to your forearms if you can. Hold for the count of ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Three, two, and one. Press into your hands, lift your chest, squeeze the glute of the back leg, hold and breathe, and then go ahead and sit into the hip of the front leg. Return to center. 
right, in the final minute, guys, to so bring the soles of your feet together. Sit up nice and tall. Deep breath in and out. Use your elbows or press your knees down as you lean forward and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Pull yourself all the way onto your back, soles of your feet still together, knees out wide, palms open to either side, go ahead and close your eyes. Breathe. Reach your arms up as you can be breath in. As you exhale, pull, pull both knees into your chest and rock yourself all the way up. And that concludes this 10 minute ultimate hip stretch practice, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and following along. Please remember to give a like, subscribe, and leave a comment with how this practice made you feel. If you would like the extended version of this hip stretch practice, which is about 30 minutes long, click the link in my bio and you can continue stretching with me. It doesn't have to stop right now. All of my flexibility training videos are on my subscription website. That's addisonbrand.phx.tv. Again, all of the links are in the bio if you're interested. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Namaste.